This is such a sobering set of passages. As I said earlier, every time I read the Book of Mormon, I just hope it'll be different this time. Now, there is hope that we all get to look at our own lives and say, am I willing to receive the embrace of Jesus, who stands open and willing to fully receive us? And we don't have to repeat what we see in the Book of Mormon. And I think there's some beautiful literary things going on in this very sorrowful passage. We have the word Nephi, which proposals recommend uh, means fair in Egyptian. And there's another word in Hebrew, uh, it's nephil, and it means to fall. And I just think it's interesting here that Mormon, who's this very capable writer, may also at the same time be creating literary beauty in the original languages. He's talking about how the, the nephi have nephil, the Nephites have fallen, the fair ones have fallen. And so he's actually playing almost as if he's a bit like Shakespeare or an Isaiah with words to make the case that even if you are named fair and beautiful, it's not much of a change to do this if you walk away from God. In our own lives, we want to ask ourselves, do we want to be fair like the Nephites, or do we want to get puffed up in the pride of all that God has given us or all that we believe that we have accomplished with our own, own hands and experience the fall? And that's the lesson that's here, is that we can learn from these people what not to do.